I just arrived in Reykjavik today. The first day here I've been uh, spending going out to find a hiking map like this and go around and just enjoy the city actually just to go exploring being a bit of touristy uh, before going out in the wild. I've just been packing my bags here and uh, one thing that has uh, surprised me or that I have realized is how much the food weighs and the fact that bringing camera gear uh, makes you also need to bring extra batteries and extra power so the power banks also takes a lot of uh, weight but it's actually a very interesting experience I would say in order to be able to pack for this kind of trips so tomorrow morning I'm taking the bus 7.30 from the city hall so I need to get up very early in the morning and uh, then I'll start the first day exploring the land and uh, then I'll cross fingers that it will not be as rainy as the weather forecast says right now but we'll see um, but first I need a hot shower and a good night's sleep. I'm, uh, I managed to catch a cold before I left Denmark and just took a nap two and a half hours here at the hostel when I got back from exploring Reykjavik um, and woke up a bit a bit warm now. So so I think the body is working. Uh, so I'll make sure to give the body some rest before I'm starting out the day tomorrow. Daniel, what's, yeah. what do you reckon about the crossing? What's your thoughts? We're trying to figure out where it's shallow and where the river doesn't run as fast. So right here we actually have a quite a wide uh, part of the river right here. And it's not, not that deep, you know? Um, but on the other side, it's quite narrow. So it, the water flows way faster there. So an idea could be to cross here to the island, then go over where the guys are. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Time to get naked. <laughs> Yep. So here we are, 10.30 at night, after a 15k hike today, and what are we doing? Just a little uh, evening run? Just a little evening run, you know. But a scenic one. This place is absolutely stunning. I think it's some of the most dramatic landscapes I've ever seen. 
over here we have the gorge like this over here we have like the red lava you feel so small when you're standing in this landscape it's it's just very very unique and i'm glad to be here I just hiked out this beautiful place to enjoy the view. Over here we had the glaciers, right there, and also further down there, and the mountains. The rain just started to come in now, but the sun was out just before, and it was really, really beautiful. I have not been traveling here alone. I've been bringing a small little wooden heart from uh, my friend Fabian. Who, uh, who died a few years ago and I've been wanting to bring this little piece of, of heart uh, with me on one of my adventures so I brought him on this adventure and found a nice little spot down here behind some of the rocks so he could enjoy this view to the glaciers that I'm sure that you will never ever get tired of so uh, I just had a little moment now for myself just uh, enjoying that and sending some warm thoughts to him and for the adventures that we had together and now the sun is peeking out again but yeah tomorrow I'm going back to the city and we'll try to do some new adventures and this hike was a truly an amazing experience is this uh, some of the most epic scenery and most epic landscape I've ever ever seen and it was so versatile and so different from day to day so I would definitely recommend people to go here and explore this beautiful piece of nature it is really once in a lifetime experience mm -hmm.